2021, what a fear, what a year on the Christian calendar. Merry Christmas. It's a time when clothes will shrink, kilos will migrate and find their way back to us, and where New Year's Eve promises will wilt and die in the sun like a maiden hair left out too long. It's a time when never ending and long lasting friendships will be formed at bottle coups, at bottle shops around the suburb. And they'll be reinforced as you stagger out over the festive season trying to find enough space in your recycling bin to shove them all back in. And New Year's Eve comes along and gives us a purpose because we have to pay off the credit card debt for the next 12 months that we've acquired in the last three or four days. And remember, there are other fears in Christmas as well. The dreaded kiss from the uncle or aunt that wants to get a little bit too close with that tongue probing as you dodge and weave and do your best. And when they finally get you, they taste their lips, taste of yesterday. And then of course, there's the re-gifting of the gift that you were given, but re-gifted back, but unbeknownst to you, that someone had given you many, many years ago. And of course, there's always refunds, which make it all worthwhile. All the stuff you get, you can take back the next day and get that top you always wanted. And if you really love Christmas, maybe you're like Harrison Ford in Raiders of the Lost Ark, where you go searching for that one gift, that special item, that one thing that that person will love. You wrap it up and hand it to them, and they simply say, Christmas, so commercial. I don't believe in giving gifts. But we move on. And of course, what a year we've had with COVID. I mean, if you're attractive above the nose line, you may have done well. If you were having braces this year, oh, what the saving, you've got away with it. Botox wouldn't work. Maybe you've sporting hit, sports have shut down, they're no longer on TV. You may have to go to the local supermarket where aisle 14 where the four ply is packed in 30 pack rolls turns into an octagon. It's UFC down there where people fight to the death for a pack of toilet paper. You can sit, watch, clap and cheer. And I'm from Melbourne, we've been in lockdown for a year. Serial killers don't serve as much time as what we do. So, All I want to say, things will improve. They have to. Any country, creed, culture, that can look at a nut called an almond and say, one day I'm going to make that into milk and put that into my coffee, can't go wrong. Why pick an almond anyway? It's not even that tasty. Why make that into milk? If it was in a Grand Prix, it wouldn't even be on the grid in the taste factor. It's way down the back. And of course, the biggest stress for me over Christmas isn't actually loneliness or not getting that present that I want. It's trying to find the end of that roll of sticky tape, which frustrates me no end. So the soldier of love, I'm talking about myself in the third person, would simply like to say, living is a gift. Tomorrow is a promise of something still better to come. So be kind to yourself. So in doing that, you can be kind to others. So enjoy Christmas, enjoy your downtime, your time with your friends and family. And remember, you're not alone. Soldier of love, I'm in your bunker. Even if you have gastro, I'm there for you. You're not alone. Soldier of love, bye. Merry Christmas. He's the soldier.